Let's get into some off the tops here, shall we? And our first off the top is this. Filed under the category of movies that I love more than most people, Venom. I really, I love the first Venom movie. Loved it. I saw it like five times in theaters. The second one I didn't like as much, but I still had a good time with it. I thought Andy Serkis did a decent job delivering a pretty entertaining time. Much like Black Adam. I kind of compared it to Black Adam. It ain't no Shakespeare, but I had fun with it. I had a good time with it. So I like the Venom movies. Really, really love the third one. Or the second one. First one. Eventually, I'll get it right. Really love the first one. Anyway, <laughs> questions have been going around. It's like, well, is there going to be a third? And the answer is yes. And Sony made a big step forward today when, according to IndieWire, they have tapped Kelly Marcel to direct the upcoming movie. Now, she has written the first two films. She also wrote, well, you've heard us talking about this, like a movie, one of my like diamonds in the rough movies of the past 15 years or so, which is Saving Mr. Banks with Colin Farrell and Tom Hanks. I love that movie. Uh, she also wrote that dinosaur movie. I'm always, the dinosaur TV show, I'm always- Terra Nova. Terra Nova. Yeah. She also was the lead writer on Terra Nova. So, I mean- and she's been on that. She developed apparently the story for Venom 3 with Tom Hardy. And they've decided that she's going to be one directing the film. Mm -hmm. I like this for, for a couple of reasons. She is not an established director. All right. She is primarily a writer and a producer. And big tentpole films normally are not the best place for somebody to cut their teeth directing it. We saw that happen with um, X-Men. Uh, the uh, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, mm -hmm. Simon with, Kimberg. with Simon Kimberg, who that dude's a huge creative writer in the geek space, all that kind of stuff. But he had never directed a film, and is that really the first one you want to step in and direct? So that is the one kind of iffy thing about this is is really Venom. Even though she's been the writer of the first two, she's been a part of the creative process with Tom Hardy on the first. She's as connected to this world and this universe as anybody. Still, a, a little, I do question a little bit of whether something like this, that's going to be, look, this isn't going to be a $200 million movie, but it's probably going to be $125, $130, $140 million movie. Is that really the best movie to cut your teeth on? I'm not so sure. Especially it's effects heavy too. Yeah. Especially visually effects heavy thing. But that's fine if you've got the right crew with you who understand visual effects and everything. But uh, still, an interesting choice. I'm just thrilled that it's moving forward. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this. What do you make of it? Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, True Classic. This brand new sponsor has the absolute best fitting t-shirts that a man can buy. Finding the right t-shirt with a little bit of a dad bod is incredibly frustrating. Most t-shirts are either way too tight on your gut or look way too big and boxy. You're not in high school anymore and it's time to upgrade. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men finally get a better fit at an affordable price. And the John Campy Show viewers and listeners get access to the best deal they offer. For a limited time only, get 25% off using the code CAMPIA at trueclassic.com. Look, you and I both know that almost all of men's t-shirts are designed to look good on skinny models with six packs. But let's be honest, that's not most of us. True Classic tees taper off towards the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. It's time to highlight your best attributes with a t-shirt that you can always confidently throw on. Like most of you guys, ever since college, I have always struggled to find proper fitting t-shirts that are comfortable. Well, True Classic from the moment I put on the shirt they sent me solves it. And True Classic doesn't just stop at tees. From polos and workout shirts with the same flattering fit. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with the promo code CAMPIA. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. 100% risk-free guarantee with a 30-day refund policy. Stay classy with True Classic. Your dad bod will thank you. Well, I think, hey, look, you know, the Venom franchise is obviously liked by a lot of people. I mean, the second one didn't make as much as the first, but I, I have to say, you know, for what we got with those movies, it's not, it's, they were never going to be high art. And I think, yes. I think for what they are, they were amusing. I mean, the first Venom, I don't love the first Venom, but it's fun to watch, yeah. you know, and I, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I love about the movies. They nailed the voice of Venom. Mm -hmm. that was the thing that I was most like, how is Venom going to sound? And if they got, what, what I don't like is the way the transformation happens too quickly. Cause to me, there's no physicality to it. It's too CG. Like you look, go back and look at species, the movie species, or even the way mystique first transformed in the first mm, X-Men. Right. It just like a, a CG ripple. It doesn't look like flesh is tearing. 
that's a minor quibble, but they got Venom's voice right. And it's funny. It's funny. It's amusing. It puts a smile on your face. So the idea that they're going to make a third Venom was not surprising. And they've made truckloads of money yeah. Yeah. Uh, on, on this franchise. I, I still remember when they first announced it, I said, I think this could be fun. And the throngs of the nerd boys, of course, of which of we are a part of that you know, clan. Yeah. But the throngs of the nerd boys say, you can't do a better movie without Spider-Man. Well, apparently they can. And they made over $800 million doing it. But anyway... Chris, you hear this news about Kelly taking over the director's chair. Right move, wrong move, wait and see. How do you feel? I mean, it's interesting. First of all, the only thing you could do with this movie is not have Spider-Man. That's why it's so good. It's because we're not dealing with Spider-Man in the Venom movies. It's fantastic. Mm. They're fun. I like them. Um, I really think she nails the tone and voice of what we want in these Venom movies. This fun ridiculousness um, doesn't shy away from the kind of like monstrosity that is Venom. But we still also are like this lovable scamp wanting to eat chocolate and do stuff. Love him. Mm. I am a little concerned about the, her, this being her directorial debut. And when it comes to her writing too, Venom is kind of the only thing I've really enjoyed that she's been a part of. Um, I, I thought Terra Nova was very fun, honestly. I thought it was really, really fun and kind of campy. Um, but Cruella kind of lost me towards the third act. She's the writer on Fifty Shades of Grey, which if you're a longtime viewer of the show, you know that that is my Boxing Day tradition, is to play a drinking game to that movie. So, you know, love, hate with that. Made money um, though. It did make money. And so, I, I mean, I'm sure it will continue delivering the kind of fun, wacky thing that we've come to accept with Venom and enjoy. It's a great popcorn kind of trilogy um, in the makings. I'm just hoping that as a first film, as the director, you know, behind the, the director's chair and everything, that she doesn't get bogged down with some of the minutia and that she still gets to tell a fun story and it's not too clunky. I liked Cruella. I, I had fun, but did you not see Saving Mr. Banks? Oh, I did see Saving Mr. Banks. I did okay. not like that either. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Oh my goodness, I, I love was, that I, movie. I went and saw it, like I got to go to a screening with the creatives behind it, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> oh, I love that movie It was just so not much. super for me. I that, don't know. You know. I'm surprised because seriously, if, if somebody had come up to me an hour ago and said, okay, 50 bucks, do you think Chris Carr loves Saving Mr. Banks? I, I would have said, Oh, that's a movie she would love. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would love. And I money. love Emma Thompson. And and you know, she everyone's great in it. It's just it was a movie that I went okay. You know, Cruella's just since you brought it up, I hadn't seen it, but I interviewed for designing Hollywood Jenny Bevan, who who was designed the all designer. the uh, costumes for it. I liked that movie way more than I thought I was going to like it, and I thought it was pretty clever. And Emma Stone was great in it. And by the way, Jenny Bevan won a Saturn Award this for her costuming. Her costuming. Ooh, in that. Good yes. for her on that. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this news? Venom 3 moving forward. It's got its director now, but it's going to be her, really her first directorial effort. Is this the type of movie, something this big, this expensive to be their first film? It hasn't had a great track record of that in the past with other directors trying to do it, but maybe this one will work. How do you feel about it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.